This is a HeadGum Podcast. I feel like we've probably been opening up the episodes talking a lot about this, but I just can't get over how much the weather is fucking us up right now. I know. It is so bad. I can't believe it. I Did you learn about like how weather can affect your health in class like i mean meteorology i didn't really get like the whole how it relates to health stuff especially air pressure bitch yeah i know i was trying to look that up right now before the show and i mean yeah we've gotten asked about it too it's still like a kind of vague thing but basically fucking seattle has been dry and tons of fucking pressure because my skin is fucked like (laughs) i thought i had dry skin and then i moved here and I realized it could get worse, guys. It is just so fucking bad. Apparently, the one th- I didn't get a lot of time to look into it, but like one thing is that when there's like a big pressure change or like is that like a storm or like a cold front? Is both okay, cool. same kind of thing. So anyway. just any movements that yeah, are happening, any like rumblings, s- any like major change in like pressure or like humidity or whatever, your body could be giving you headaches because it's trying to tell you that you need to get to a better environment. (laughs) Your head has been screaming at you to move. Like, Uh, honestly, like last episode, which we've been back to two. Now we decided we're going to go back to two episodes and we had one on Thursday. So if you guys missed out on that, you know, go check that out. But my voice was gone girl in that one. And I was talking about how I like thought I had a cold or whatever. I honestly don't know what I had because no, I, think I really think it was the cold front. It was the weather, and it's been so bad in Seattle lately. My face, like all of my sinuses, just ache like all the time. It finally has stopped. But it's- you're like not like congested. Like I've had sinus infections before. Yeah, me and too. those are the fucking worst. Yeah, they're horrible. Like the worst type of cold. I put in quotes because like- I don't know if that considers. Is a cold, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, TMI, but like you have a lot of snot and it's Stop! like and it's like yellow. Oh and my god, stuff. you like, need to fuck off! Well, like well, we just listen, lost half like, our audience. Like that's how you tell if it's a sinus infection. But like I was clear as day, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Shut up. like it definitely wasn't that, but my face was just hurting so much, and I felt it so like much burns. pressure, and I was getting headaches. Yesterday was the fucking worst. I woke up with a migraine at 11 o'clock. I was like, oh, yeah, Saturday, my one day off. I don't got shit to do today. Right. Like, I can You're sleep You're going to play Titanfall all day, couldn't look at it. Yeah, <laughs> I get woken up by a migraine, and I finally got rid of it at, like, 7 o'clock at night. But oh, then, like, it like also, day. like, started affecting my stomach because it hurt so bad. And it was just fucking horrible, and it was due to the weather. And yeah. It really killed me. I Googled it, and, like, everybody was bitching about this. Yeah. So. Thank God that, like, next week is Because there's some, like, super weather. flu that's going around Seattle right yeah, now. Yeah, I thought it was that. Was so, so we worried. were, like, terrified that we were going to have the, the flu, which, yeah. like, no. <laughs> Considering, you know, somebody who probably end up showing up to work with, like being sick and I know whatever. that's what I fear it's like I have a giant bottle of hand sanitizer on my desk and it's like just all the time or like when I go to therapy and I'm like in that elevator and it's a very small elevator yeah. and I'm just like I'm gonna die <laughs> God. so if any of you west coast people uh, especially have some you Canadian been people <laughs> like I feel you if you've been having these migraines I don't know what causes it in terms of the weather I, just I feel know that like it changes a lot the amount of migraines I have here compared to Pennsylvania is the same for myself. I feel like I've increased. You have cuz you I remember when you got your very first migraine. I was around for that. So yeah. like it was kind of recent. It was like maybe like 4 years ago. Yeah. And you were so freaked out because you had never had a headache that bad before. Mhm. And I we like you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I get migraines, and I don't know. You were, like, really scared that, like, it was something worse than that. So. Yeah. Now I just know that. It's just like, now hey, we fuck you, them. weather. It sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Any of you guys that have migraines out there, like, get them frequently or regularly at all, like... I feel you. I feel you. It's annoying as fuck. And especially when you can tell it's going to happen. Yeah, you see the stars. And even when you take the medicine, like, in time, you know, and you still get fucked over, you're like, oh, yeah, because like, you know your day is like I'm just gonna have to listen to a podcast or Chris will read to me or vice versa. Like I can't do yeah. anything. 
Oh, thank God my mom made these, like, bean packs that yes. are, like, you can... Best f- thing your mom ever gave us, ever. <laughs> you could, like, freeze them, or you can heat them in the microwave, so it's, like, for muscle pain, like, if you have, a, like, a Your spasm. back hurts or yeah. something, and they're, like, really heavy beans. Or is it rice? I don't know what's Who's, in them. What's going on in there? I have to ask my mom, and honestly, I'm going to be like, hey, mom, could you make some more? Cause honestly, or tell us how to make them. Yeah, they're fantastic. And so, yeah, you just heat we them up or freeze them, and they're great, and I lay them across my face. We keep them in the freezer, and they're, like, just so nice if you have headaches. So. Yeah, they're really good. We'll ask his mom, and we'll get back to you if we'll any of you guys want to make yes. one yourselves. I'm sure you can buy them on, like, Etsy and shit, too, but yeah, who, if you're in the mood for a DIY project. But uh, uh, what are we drinking today, bitch? Well, this is coffee with Rachel, first of all, and I'm Chris. I'm Rachel. And yeah, the coffee that we are drinking is from Kelsey, who sent this to our P.O. box, which is on our website, if you want to check that out. Yeah. But uh, this is the, the black, black honey, honey right? Coffee. Clinique black honey throwback oh my to my first berry lipstick. Ah! Sorry. It's from North Mountain Fine Coffees in... Where is that now? NS. What state is that? Is that a state? It can't be. because Nova I'm... Scotia? Is that Nova Scotia? Sure. I don't know. Oh. North, south. <laughs> wow, I suck. Wow. Uh, that's the coffee. It's got a, definitely a little bit of sweetness, you know? Got it's that like, honey. It has a nice honey scent when you open the bag. Yeah. It smells like a lush product, like in a good way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm definitely enjoying it's this. It's something, a little twist on it. I've never had honey flavored anything yeah. coffee. Related. Yesterday, I was like chugging scalding hot coffee, trying to feel like caffeine. Need the caffeine. I burnt my mouth yesterday. Like, oh, it's you still, did? Yeah, that was just like icing Rip. on the cake. Like, I wasn't too worried because I was like, I'm dying. But <laughs> <laughs> he went out and he bought a lot of people on Twitter were recommending him the Tiger Bomb, which is like an all natural thing that you rub on your temple. It's and supposed stuff. to be for like joint pain and like muscle pains and stuff, but you can use it on your temples and stuff. Yeah, and it had. I was like. <laughs> Smells like Christmas cookies. Like it has, <laughs> there must be clove in this, and there was clove oil I hate in your it. Nose. And I was like, I'm too good. Bitch. Your nose is too powerful. <laughs> She's there, but it, I mean, did it work? I don't know. A lot of people also say that peppermint oil is like another way that you can yeah. do it all naturally. And I mean, I, I like the way some. peppermint smells, so I feel like I wouldn't be opposed to using peppermint oil as my headache remedy. Like it'd be great. I would enjoy it. <laughs> Yo, because like I hate when you have to take an Excedrin because it's that bad. But Excedrin has caffeine in it, so yeah. if you have a headache at night, then you're gonna be up. Ugh, I so fucking annoying. hate that. I mean, you're gonna be up no matter what, but it still fucking sucks. <laughs> you're gonna be up no. I yeah, I got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate headaches. All right. All right, so I have a coffee fact. Um, so this is the m- amount of money generated annually by the coffee industry worldwide in U.S. dollars is $70 billion. Wow. So that's fucking a lot of money. That's a lot of people like coffee. lattes and shit. I was also just like looking up facts and stuff like that. And I realized, I think like for a homework project for the podcast, we need to actually go to the Starbucks Roastery Reserve the because, thing over here? Yeah, because the thing over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, was, you guys know where we're pointing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, apparently, I didn't know it's the only one in the world, and that you, like, well, you get to see, like, all the beans and how they roast shit and everything like that. So it's, like, chocolate. They also world, have special for, food that, like, pairs well with different things, and they and have, they, like, stuff that they don't have at every other location. Yeah, I was going to say, the thing is, Do like, they, they, have alcohol too, I they test the coffee before they put it out to, like, the rest of the chain like there oh yeah. so like so they got something i forget which one it was it might have been like the smoked butterscotch latte like they tested that there i like low-key want to try it but i know that it's not vegan yeah probably, yeah so i don't try it but i just want to go because it'd be a fucking relatable experience for this show <laughs> people have invited me to go several times and i just was always doing something <laughs> just trash you know <laughs> no let's go any one of my seattle friends that are listening to this i hope <laughs> Who's to say? But, like, let's go. Honestly, let's just go for, like, my birthday. It's lame, but let's do it. No! I already have a better idea, bitch. All right, fine. Like, I mean, that's cute and everything, and I am planning on doing a coffee tasting, but I want to do something more lit than that. Yeah, I get you. Something a little bit less corporate. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. But, like, honestly, I want to do something cool with, like, possibly a mountain view. That's my goal. Yeah. We'll see. Who knows? I don't know where any of this shit (laughs) is located, but my friend Megan gave me the great idea because she got her boyfriend for his birthday, I think, or Christmas maybe, like, lessons 
to fly a plane. Whoa. Like, and this is something, like, apparently he's always wanted to be a pilot. Okay. And just, like, can you imagine if I was just like, by the way, Chris, you're going to be piloting an aircraft. <laughs> like, yeah. I have gonna... not had the urge to pilot one I'm in gonna my life, not but... I'm going to do that, actually, Yeah, myself. no. Oh, okay. I get stressed enough driving a car, so... <laughs> like, what's something wild that you would want has a skill randomly, even if it's not like a lasting skill. Like this guy's probably not going to be flying around. Um, I always know that at some point in my life, I want to know how to play piano. Okay. Yeah. So like piano lessons would be a good gift down the line. I feel like (gasps) that's a great idea. My fingers are long. And They're ready. like, I just need to get the fucking like whole rhythm thing down, you know, the melody. You also need to like, know what notes are yeah i also need to be able to like <laughs> comprehend hearing and things I, like, like that <laughs> i've tried and like it's not that you're gone like there's some people that like they're never gonna know yeah how to be in tune or something but like you have the i feel like a lot of music is mathematical as well yeah. so i feel like you would understand it if you just like had someone that was a better teacher because i'm so abstract and i'm just <laughs> like just listen that's an e and you're like what <laughs> But, like, if you had someone teaching you the way that I was taught how to read music, it was very, like... Yeah. It's just, yeah, you need that. Eventually, I I just want to do that. What about you? What's a... Like a gift kind of thing, like that, a lessons kind of thing that's a skill that you want to have. Well, practical, even though I already know how to play guitar, I would love to get like more fine tuned with that. And I would love guitar lessons because I could never afford them growing up. Yeah. So, like, that's something I want to do, but something that I don't already know. Uh, Because then I'm like, ooh, cooking though. Like, that could be like. uh, But, like, I do know some things that I'm pretty good at. I don't know. Cooking. Yeah. I I mean, you know what a mirepoix is. So, like, you're pretty high up there already. That's not that freak. Freaky? Um, That's not I that mean, Frankie. <laughs> okay, well, whatever then. It's Fancy just pants. carrots and celery and onion. <laughs> the three amigos. <laughs> and they complete every dish that you smell and you're like, damn, that's what I'm cooking. <laughs> it's a French word, I think. Yeah, it sounds Anything French. else, though? Can you think of anything oh, else? I would say, mm, ooh, like makeup chemistry. Like they have this uh, place in New York. Well, you know the brand Bite Beauty? Yes. Well, they have a place in New York and it's just like one storefront. They might have it other places too, but I know the New York one exists and you go there and you can like just create your own lipstick and then like it's like a lipstick lab and like some shit like that I'd be down oh for. My God. Like so, you know, mix up back. my own perfume, fucking price. <laughs> payback for that time you're supposed to have a lipstick or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. Remember when YouTube contracts meant shit? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Subtle today drag. still? <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> In twenty seventeen. Uh, but yeah, that's something I would be totally down for. The whole chemistry behind cosmetics. I'm yeah. here for it. You might need a college degree for that one, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just here to watch and wear that hairnet. <laughs> and then get the sample. Fuck. Well, uh, I guess before we get into other topics, we should talk a little bit about the gift exchange. Oh my god, yes. There's been that. some drama. So, we've been waiting a little bit because we've been getting a lot of emails. One saying people that were just sending them out really super late. And... Uh, other emails of people saying that they didn't get their gifts but then like in a couple of days they did get their gift and so they emailed us back again yeah. so you know we've just been waiting a little bit before we took a lot of action on this <laughs> yeah. but now it, we're gonna start actually if you've emailed us or sent us a message or whatever we have them all by the way like we're not yeah missing. i'm not so like tossing emails we're gonna we're like already in the process of tracking down the people that like might not have sent out a gift yeah um so we'll let you know how that goes we'll definitely if you send us an email like you know it, like asking about this then you'll probably get a reply from us soon once we figure out yeah like, what's if happening. you don't get a reply right away like we're, we're just waiting we're, for we're looking into it like i just like we have a lot of emails and stuff and so i'm not able to like send a reply out to like yeah. every single one until we have more info and we're just trying to find out like the course of action like how this will apply to next year and how we can fine-tune things we already know that like the form for next year is going to be like even more specific and even more disclaimers about like deadlines and like you're signing up for this please follow through and like yeah. there's also oh my god you guys on reddit you guys are fucking crazy it's our coffee with Rachel, and there's a thread 
And some people there's are been like, a couple. Yeah. yeah, there's been a few. And like, some people are just like, they feel bad that people aren't getting their gift. And they're rallying up people that are volunteering to ship out gifts for those people, which like you, you guys are just like the sweetest, nicest little fucking community. I yeah, love you guys I know. so much. You guys are so fucking nice. And, and like, you shouldn't have to do that though. So we're going to work on trying to, yeah. you know, contact everybody. But like, again, you know, we can't. Conf- like we can't guarantee that even doing the stuff that you're gonna be able to get a gift in the end of it all we just want to do what we can to investigate this and make sure for future ones that it's better and possibly we hate doing it but like blacklisting somebody that hasn't yeah like, like i don't like to uh, yeah I know. we don't like to do that but i'm like, not aggressive here <laughs> we need to you know make i just sure want to make sure everybody has a good time you know yeah. what i mean like and if yeah so we're working on it yeah we're gonna that's do that. the update uh, also, I just had a question for you guys, too. Uh, one, you know, what other places do you guys want to hear the show on? That's just something that I'm genuinely curious about. You know, we just got on Stitcher, and we're on a whole bunch of other places like Google Play and iTunes and SoundCloud, SoundCloud. and... YouTube. YouTube, <laughs> and fuck, I know there's other places, too. Spreaker. There's so um, many. But yeah, if there's any other places that you guys listen to podcasts that we're not on yet... Let's, you know, let us know. I think the next thing I want to look into is Spotify. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. I know so many people. So let us know, like, if there's something that you've been listening to other podcasts on that you think is really convenient, just hit us up. Yeah. And, and we'll look at expanding to that. Okay. And then the other thing that I want to bring up is, would any of you guys be interested in a Discord chat? This so what is that again? So Discord is basically, it's something that I've seen a lot with, like, different gaming communities and, like different games but it's basically you can set up different chat rooms essentially like old school chat rooms around different topics like people do them around games and stuff like that right because we used it for animal crossing the other day so that i could get some oranges yeah exactly but it was like really (laughs) awesome it was like basically if you've ever been on one of our twitch streams like the conversation there the chat there it's basically just that without a video or anything like that and so people can just talk and it'd be something that'd be around like all the time and so i know we have like the reddit for like conversations and stuff but this is more like a legit like chat room kind yeah of thing. like a group text with all the benches yeah it's, it's an app and i think you can do it like on your computer too what is it called discourse D- discord discord yeah d-i-s-c-o-r-d all right yeah. we're not sponsored or anything we were just like we did the animal crossing one because i was trying to get some oranges so i was like looking for people to trade me yeah and it was super fun and like before i got in there they were all just like talking about makeup and stuff and like other random shit and like there could just be like a little spot if you guys are bored and you want to talk to other benches or yeah. you like need to talk get some advice and like we're not around or we're not making a podcast or doing a live stream like yeah Fucking have a little chat room. Awesome. This is going to be the year of just getting us on any other platforms <laughs> that we're not already on. Like, we need to actually do a Facebook page. That's something for this year. Yeah, but... Oh, <laughs> uh, because then we can incorporate, like, I guess, Facebook Lives. Yeah. But, There's yeah. lots of things. It's so wild when you see a Facebook Live uh, commercial on TV... To seeing, yeah, that's really interesting. It's just like, like they use like the vertical phone yeah, kind of photo, and yeah. then on the side they have all of those like little emojis that you can, I guess, use. I haven't really used Facebook Live, I'll be it's honest. It's basically like the Periscope hearts, except it's, it's like, like likes and hearts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just smacked Smack my me. mic. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, yeah, so those are just some things. Just let us know. And That was Twitter. the housekeeping segment yeah, of this episode. housekeeping. I feel like we haven't really done a lot of, like, community announcements lately, so yeah. it was due. <laughs> so, it's something else that's fucking up the uh, northeast area, or northwest area, <gasps> is the uh, whole salmon tapeworm drama. drama. Wow, <laughs> spilling the tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a mess. And now I'm like, is it just fear mongering or like, thank God we're not even eating meat. I think it's honestly a little bit of fear mongering because I've read the article and it's like, there's not that many cases of it that have actually been confirmed or anything like that. And the earliest one was 2006. So like, this is something that's been like going around for a little bit. And they said it was like 2000 cases over like the course of like fucking 10 years. So like That's it's still not enough like, cases. I know, like it's still something to be worried about. But they're like they, blowing the it article, off, like, like the wording was like large tapeworm, but I'm like I'm out. Yeah, I'm gone. I mean, we ain't eating fucking salmon, but yeah, because we like your mom fucking shared it to us, and she was like, "All that raw salmon you're eating," and I was 
is like <laughs> drag us. <laughs> but, Which I mean, when we were having a nice sushi, we were having raw salmon. It was great. Yeah, and like I'm, I love salmon. So this is heartbreaking just to know that it's going on. Yeah, under my nose. <laughs> I mean, salmon's a huge fucking industry for the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, and they, like, straight up, because I thought, like, oh, this is just all salmon. Like, it's not going to be specific to where we are. No, they're, like, the actual Pacific Northwest Alaskan yeah. salmon that's right in the puge, right there. <laughs> and I was that's like, on your plate right now in Seattle. Like, like that's shit. it. <laughs> it's too close to home. Remember, like, the spinach death thing that happened? It was, like, I think salmonella. Yeah, maybe. I think it was salmonella. Yeah. That, was, that was wild. And that was before I ate a lot of spinach because it was just like steamed spinach. Whoa. Yeah. Now I'm like a baby Being spinach turned bitch. off to so many different vegetables because they've just been steamed in your life. That's Brussels sprouts. That's spinach, you know. Like, yeah. Pretty much all of them. You need to just have the vegetables cooked. I like some... raw broccoli more than I like steamed broccoli. Yeah. Though a nice steamed broccoli with a squeeze of lemon and a nice big chunk of pepper. <laughs> I like time. them, you know, sautéed into a nice stir fry. <laughs> That's <up>. me. <laughs> Yo, oh, can you tell we have to go grocery shopping? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we <laughs> really, so really shitty. have to go. But I was like, let's get the podcast done before because we never know what kind of mood we're going to be in post grocery. We could be on that like we got everything. It was a breeze, and we even got some new favorites. Yeah, like kind of or grocery it's, high. Uh, or it's grocery like shopping on a Sunday and fuck this vibe. True, because it's Sunday. I forgot. Uh, beautiful. My Lala arm just popped. Is moving the blinds behind me. It's a fucking vibe. We're having a lot of problems right now. So, something that happened since the last time we spoke is that Nintendo had a conference about their oh, new console that's coming out in March. The Switch. And I just wanted to uh, switch on my anger and oh my god, about this, you know? Let's I'm a little bit switch. more indifferent, but I'm like, <laughs> basically there's no games that I care about, so I'm like, I don't have to upgrade until they convince me more. There's, I'm like, a mad. Mario Kart deluxe version. Yeah. And it only has... It's got, like, some new characters, some new carts, but it's, like, one new track. And I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna do that. You want me that. to buy a whole new game It to sucks that it's not DLC. It should just be DLC. What yeah, the fuck? I mean, they should put that out as DLC for the Wii U, Wii U benches, version, But they're probably not gonna do that. They're gonna literally be like, the Wii U is gone next year. I'm yeah. calling it now. No, they already, like, they're trying to already, like, kill it. It's done. Like, they're not worried about it anymore. (laughs) Well, then, I'm calling me, like, upgrading to the Switch and, like, selling my Wii U. Yeah. But I don't want to. No, I was like, if the Switch was good, I was like, oh, if there's we a could lot of sell games the and Wii stuff. U and just get a Switch, but like, they really did not convince me that they learned from their past mistakes. I was excited because they said the price point was two ninety nine, and like, a PS4 is like, what, like 400 something? No, they're and... like 299 now, both too. Uh, okay, but like Xbox when they and... first came out. Yeah, when they first came out, they were more expensive, yes. So um, I was like, oh, it's going to be cheap, and like then I realized it's because it's like only 32 gigabytes which is like the size of a brand new phone yeah. and games are like 30 gigabytes now because they're like yeah. so big and I read graphics. a little bit more into the like the whole game things and it's because like since they're going to be on cartridges that oh. that's not going to need to be installed like onto the system so you don't need like that huge memory like the Xbox and the PlayStation do but They're really throwing it back now. I know, but like if there's any updates or anything like that that come in over what the What about internet, digital downloads? Did that one digital downloads? Yes, you can't. Because like I don't need to buy cartridges. Because like, why do you want to waste the earth? Yeah, I don't know. So like, still you could just get a digital download because of that. That's not gonna break. A cartridge can break. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just dumb. Basically, like they made their console like still different than like how the PlayStation and the Xbox work too much. That like nobody's gonna make games for it. I can already tell before it's, it even yeah. started, nobody's gonna make any games for it, and it sucks. They're like, oh hey. We got Skyrim, but that's like a six year old game, and I don't really care anymore. Like, <laughs> flop. It's so stupid. And their controllers are like half the price of a yeah, console. Yeah, I couldn't believe that a pair of controllers, and they're like these tiny little, like, just little rectangles, based. <laughs> like basically. Like the Wii Remote kind of fucking 2.0, basically. Yeah, but they're like 70 bucks. 
And so I'm like, I'll pass. To get like the whole like set for like the two little sticks and then yeah. like the little thing that holds them, it's $110. And that new Mario game looks so funny. I would get it just to City. play how dumb, like it looks dumb. And like, I think I want to play it just for the memes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just always here for the memes. And like, if I, they come out with an Animal Crossing game that's exclusive to the Switch, I will make the Switch and I will sell my Wii U. But mm-hmm. for right now, there's not enough games warranting me doing that. And I'm, I'm gonna just get the new Legend of Zelda game on the Wii U. But are they gonna have it backwards compatible? That's another thing that you don't know is like backwards compatibility with the Wii U. You, there's no disc drive on it, so you can't put any discs in it. So I don't think it's gonna. But work. if it's digital, yeah, that I don't know how it's gonna work. Also, like any of the because Wii- I would hate for you to spend sixty bucks on a game and then like when we upgrade the console, you lose that and you yeah. have to either rebuy it or like redo it. That the would be Wiiware games to like their digital from like the older generations kind of thing is oh, okay. also I don't know if that's gonna work. Plus, they're making you pay for their online service, I got a lot of questions, and my biggest one is, how can people pre-order this when nothing was specified? (laughs) Like, I don't get it. They gave you, like, they made sure to tell you 7,000 times the three different ways that you can set up your console. I want to know graphics. (laughs) Like, they didn't give us any details about, like, yeah, battery life. You know, I want to know these things. And people were like, I'm literally pre-ordering this right now. I'm like, bitch, you don't even know how much storage. You, I don't look at, like, an IGN article to see how much storage it would have. Like, they they didn't didn't even say that. So I'm like, listen... (sighs) <sighs> it's just a lot of things, and they have no games, and I'm just not here for it, and I'm sick of Nintendo. But are you Nintendo excited because you got to see that trailer for, what is it, Bread of Wilds? Bread of Wilds, yes. <laughs> this wild bread, yeah. I'm excited for that game, and I will get that on the Wii U, because it's probably, like, one of the last games you're going to fucking make for that goddamn console, so yeah. I'm here for it. <laughs> I hope we don't lose all of our fucking progress in Super Mario 3D World. That's my thing. If they made a Super Mario 3D World 2, I would get a Switch for that, because... You guys, if you listened to the show since the beginning of the show, like that was the first couple months was us playing that Trying game. Trying to beat that game and it took forever. Yeah, so. But I would be upset if we switched <laughs> and we lost the first one. I hate this because pun. that's not fair. I know. I, really I didn't hope spend that. that much time crying mm-hmm. for no reason. <laughs> I we, didn't put my blood, sweat, and tears into this just to lose it all. Everything now, I'm like, it's my fine lines. Which, like, <laughs> I don't even have any fine lines. I don't know. I think my face is like, got enough fat in it that, like, I'm gonna last a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> and I do take good care of my skin. But, like, I'm getting, like, my eyelids are starting to move. I get you. And I'm upset about it because it's harder for me to define my crease. Oh, no. And I don't like it. And, you know, eye cream is all bullshit. Like, yeah. there, you'd have to spend so much money on an eye cream for it to actually have any Thing else other than moisture like of course i moisturize my under eye but like that's not gonna lift bitch yeah <laughs> like, i feel you and i don't have money for anything more serious mm-hmm. you know what i mean so <laughs> oh, shit. she hasn't been wearing a lot of eyeshadow and I, I feel like i look younger though because i've been wearing less makeup like when i look at photos of myself when i was wearing the, like the most makeup and my hair was so dark i feel like i looked older yeah so I'm like enjoying you know, that I can still youthful look youthful. Glow. Shut up. <laughs> it's Becca. You're going like, for these fucking glowy ass fucking products and like the whole lesser, like not doing the like winged liner as much and like like more. That's just because of laziness at this uh, point. Well, but it does age me, I feel. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I think my eyes are just too tired <laughs> for that wing. You know, she flew away. Oh, I got them clipped and now I'm just on the ground. <laughs> Oh, what shit. else were we fucking supposed to talk about? Netflix forcing itself. Oh my god. Yeah, Netflix is fucking rude. I feel like we're just complaining today. I think I it's because d- we had a bad weekend. Yeah, I had a whole fucking bad week. Honestly, like the this whole sickness, whatever the hell it was, really just like soured my grapes. Basically, like, so series of unfortunate events came out on Netflix. Yay. And I definitely still want to watch it, but I wanted to wait until like I read the book. And apparently it's like the first four books is what yeah. they have. So, I'm excited still to watch it, but, like, I I don't know, a lot of people were tweeting this one, like, I guess, clip, 
where like Neil Patrick Harris is playing the main ca- uh, character Count Olaf or whatever yeah. the fuck, and he like addresses the camera and like breaks the what is it the fourth wall? Which wall is it? Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, and basically just is like you know it's much more convenient to basically stream shows on the like, TV and then like looks at the camera and I'm like why does Netflix now do this like weird self aware thing and like every one of their shows where they like have to point out that you're watching this on Netflix like Chelsea does it like every ten minutes. Gilmore did it. Gilmore did it. There was another show that did it. I, I know. Swear I to can't God, remember. It, it was not like a Chelsea type show. It was like an actual like story show. I swear to fuck if like they have the next season of House of Cards and Kevin Spacey is just like because he already you know why don't you wall. sign up. F- for Netflix like it would fuck me up and I would turn it off <laughs> honestly I'm so mad like they don't need to you don't see you know what it was Fuller House probably oh they definitely did it yeah, you know they, they're they trash so they probably did it you don't see HBO out here being like you can see these titties because you're watching this on HBO <laughs> yeah. like we're having all these aggressive sex scenes because we can at HBO like, <laughs> like it's so stupid you don't need they to need make to me chill. aware and it doesn't fit like Count Olaf wasn't talking about Netflix and his fucking Exactly, like, that's what I get cuz like when you're reading those books there's not a lot of technology being brought up similar to whoa coffee beans similar to Harry Potter, you know? Like they're not being like the latest iPhone 7, like I don't know, I don't need yeah. that. So, but I'm still excited to watch it. That was just like one little tidbit. I'm like Netflix needs to chill out. We get it. We get we know. it. No, we already know how great Netflix is. What if they because... do that on like They've probably done it on Orange is the New Black. We just didn't notice. Yeah, or probably like on the ranch or something like that, too. Fuck Sounds the stupid. ranch. Yeah, I know. Hidden Valley, you know. <laughs> that got a season two, I think. And oh, it's... God. Why did that need that? That was really hard for me to watch, honestly. <laughs> I watched like two episodes or something, and I was like, I gotta go. All right, so I guess that kind of wraps up all the topics that we had for this the week. The bitch list. <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking bitch list. So let's just get a word from our sponsor, and then we'll do some questions. Yes. So I know one of the biggest problems with going to the airport is that there's never any chargers anywhere to charge your cell phone, and that always seems to be the place where your cell phone's going to die while you're waiting for things to happen. Or you have those people that, like, hoard the frickin' charger stand things. Yeah, with, like, a million things. And there's no outlets. Yeah, it's so so annoying. So thankfully, though, we have discovered Away Luggage. So they sent us one of their suitcases, and it's got a lock on it, which I also really appreciate. Yeah, it's a TSA-approved lock, so you can... And do a combination on it and you can feel secure that everything like is tucked key. away yeah but the intrigue is it has a thing that lets you charge different devices so there's like usb ports there's two of them and so if you can't find an outlet or something you can charge your suitcase like the night before you're gonna travel charge your suitcase sounds so funny but... i know but like <laughs> hey and then you have like battery life if you like forgot i don't know like an external battery or that even died so you just have like backup phone charging which yeah. is like always good like especially if like you get get lost for some reason you know what i mean mm-hmm. and like you just need battery life and you don't, you're not at your hotel or whatever you're trying to do so yeah. it's super nice and they're like really good quality suitcases they're like really light but they're really nice material in the inside yeah, they're resistant and they also have the four 360 degree wheels on the bottom so yeah, you know it's like one of those that. things you can wheel around <laughs> on that wheelie bench <laughs> that's like swiveling like look at how cool my suitcase is bitch <laughs> Yeah, and they also have a 100-day free trial, so if you try it out and you don't like it, you can always send it back risk-free, and they have a lifetime warranty on them as well. That's so, lit. All right, and so if you guys want to try out this luggage, we have a special offer for you. So if you go to awaytravel.com slash CWC and you use the promo code CWC at checkout, you'll get $20 off of any suitcase. Cool. So again, you just go to awaytravel.com slash CWC and use code CWC for $20 off. All right, so I have the first question here, and this is from our Reddit page. It says, I'm pet in house sitting for a friend for a week, and she wants to pay me. Do friends accept money from other friends? I feel weird about it, but I could use the funds. I mean... I feel weird about it too, but like, all right, so if it was me being like, I need someone to watch the chunks, I would absolutely be like forcing money at them because like, there's no way I would feel comfortable like having them, you know, take care of my chunks, like without me paying them. Like I would feel bad, especially like if my friends work and they already have to pay to like get here or whatever, like, you know. It's like, I understand that there's a point, time and place where, like, you could be like, no, really, like, you don't pay me, like, I'm just gonna do this, and you can go back and forth for, like, ever, on, like, no, I really need to pay you, no, don't pay me. Literally me and Ashley earlier today, like, this bitch. (laughs) 
At, like, some point, though, somebody has to fucking cave, and, like, it's okay to accept. I think it's The okay only time I'm, like, I accept when people pay for me is, like, slight, small food things, you know? But yeah. then I'm, like, I get the next one, you know what I mean? Like, me and Brie do this shit where, like, if I buy her dinner, then she's, like, all right, well, then I get dinner for us next time or coffee or mm-hmm. whatever. And, like, I do it like that, but... I don't know. It is weird. But yeah, if you're like asking someone to like watch your animals, like I would absolutely pay. Also like driving because like, okay, for me, I don't have my license. And so if anybody, you know, drives me anywhere, this used to happen yeah. more like in Pennsylvania. Like I'd always pay for gas because it's like, you this know, you it's do. only fair. I can't like you do half the driving or something. I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah. I Yeah. I think that it's okay to accept and sometimes, you know. Yeah. It is weird though, always. <laughs> Definitely weird. Uh, so what are your guys' favorite types of books to read besides Harry Potter? I mean, I'm typically a series person. Yeah, I'm typically a series person as well. Although Just because I, I do don't like, like it when the story ends and I'm already addicted to the characters. I do, like, do one-off books like that. Yeah, though. novels. But most of the things that I'm really, like, attached to are series. Yeah. Like, Harry Potter is obviously my number one, but... I like series. I like sci-fi and kind of like i would say paranormal to an extent but like i like sci-fi kind of fantasy stuff yeah. but i mostly like like what is it thrillers, uh, thrillers yeah any kind yeah. of murder mystery yeah, anything I'm that's really dark kind of like resembling like the my television show choices mm-hmm. in a vibe i don't know i don't i haven't read a lot of like super happy books i want things that are really gonna make me like think <laughs> like, like are there even happy books like know. what what <laughs> I, are those i guess you could like, like yeah. the hungry caterpillar i think that's she's happy pretty book. happy yeah, I would say. she's happy just munching <laughs> <laughs> yo i found out that the uh person that wrote good night moon is a bisexual who hated children. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like my brand. <laughs> uh, so I just thought of that. Fuck, yeah. So, I, I mean, like, I'm trying to think of series that I've read, like, a series of unfortunate events. We're going to read that now. I read the first five, and then I just never got the other books. Yeah. But, like, I was into it. I was there for it. He was there. I was into Game of Thrones. It's just, like, too much for me to try and do. You did some of Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah, I did some of Lord of the Rings. I oh, actually... dystopian also. Not like... Yeah. I mean, I did enjoy like the first two Hunger Games yes. books. I hated the last one so much. Yes. But like anything kind of like George Orwell, like anything that's, you know, about the future, but, you know. I really love... It's, it's like fucking like kind of like trash books, but like they're... Uh, Dan Brown, like the Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons. That's, oh, yeah, it's all a series, those. but like... They're very, uh, they're like thrillers, but the like the definition of a thriller. But like, I don't know, they're just not hard reads. Yeah, yeah. But I enjoy them so much. Like they're just really good, and that's a series that I enjoy. I'm so excited because they're making a Hulu show out of The Handmaid's Tale, oh and God. that's kind of like dystopian in a way. But okay. like, it's got a what's her face playing the main character Peggy from. Elizabeth uh, Moss. Elizabeth Moss, And yeah. I'm like, also Alexis Bledel is going to be in it. Oh my which God. Which I'm like, uh. if it's anything like the Gilmore revival acting, like, I don't know. <laughs> so Mad we'll Men see. Oh my God, yeah, she was kind of weird on Mad Men. Yeah. But that's because Pete was there. Yeah. And then and they I mean, got married. Yeah. I know, Who knows? It's a weird, wild, wacky world. <laughs> um, I just ate vegan jerky and it was amazing. Just wanted to share and let everyone know that things are looking up for us vegans. <laughs> What was that jerky made out of? Probably like vegetable that they, or like, yeah, just like Because like, if it was made out of, I'm not a fan of tempeh so far. Like, I have not had it in a way that I enjoy. You can just make like a leathery vegetable and like put some like spices on it. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I've never even had jerky before, like the regular. I can't believe that. Like that blows. I don't my know mind. how coming, I got out of Pennsylvania. Without coming from having... Pennsylvania, how did you not have any type of jerky? It's because I was like Slim Jim. That sounds like a shitty Three Doors Down song. Like <laughs> I don't know. It Fuck. bugged me. They're they're playing at his inauguration, by the way. Three doors down. Yeah, they're like one of the three people he managed to get. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck? I know. It's pretty wild. What are they going to fucking play? <laughs> Who knows? But That's anyway. stupid. <laughs> Either way, yeah, I just never had... D- it didn't appeal to me. I was like, dried meat? That doesn't go bad? That's confusing. It, I didn't it, like it's, it. It's good. I don't know what to tell you. It was good. What is like, good about it? I mean, you'd think I'd like it because It's just a nice chew, you know, and it is savory, and it can have different flavors What kind of it. texture is that? It's Because very... I always pictured it would be like bacon, like crumbly. No, it's not crumbly like that. It's more like 
tacky. Oh, you know what I mean? Like it's a no. nice stick to it. So like, like a Laffy Taffy that's beef flavored. But more, but harder than a Laffy Taffy. Like, harder than a Taffy? Like, like a salt water Taffy? Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's hard to express, but it's like, a, it's like a leather. It is. Like if you were Ew, to try and eat a leather. That sounds really appetizing. A beef leather. I can't explain. That's really what it is. It's basically beef leather. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> See, I'll pass. I was more about like, if I'm going to chew something, it's going to be big league chew purple. Oh my God. <laughs> Great flavor. Or the bubble gum. And you always put way too many in your mouth. <laughs> oh my God. I, there was like a tweet the other day and it was like, childhood was like asking for two to three pieces of gum and adulthood is knowing that you only ever needed one. And I was yeah. like, why is that so true? Because <laughs> I used to be that kid that was like, she has way too much gum in her mouth. Yeah. And be um, that bubble yum in the pink wrapper, <laughs> that duck. Fuck you know that what I'm stuff. saying? I could blow bubbles inside bubbles inside bubbles, and I used to do that as like a party trick in middle school. Wow, you're wild and crazy. <laughs> Your bird noises and bubbles and bubbles. I literally used my bird noise the other day when we were playing, what is it, Heads Up? Yeah. That phone game, and I did it for, I think it was a parrot, and you knew exactly what I meant, so I was like, it's good that I have that skill. It, it came in handy. <laughs> Uh, how do you guys think of new gift ideas for birthday slash anniversaries after all these years? <laughs> well, you know, sometimes at this point it's getting a little bit like situational as to what this what's what's hot in our lives in this year. Yeah, because this year was the holidays were brought to you by Harry Potter. That's true, <laughs> and Animal Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I like to get Chris, like, one clothing item and then other random shit. Because I know that you, like, never buy yourself clothing, but you always want nice clothing. Yeah. And you just never justify spending money on yourself in that department. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, bitch, you go to work and you need to wear things, you know? So I like to get you something like that. But I also like to get you, like, whatever is coming out that's, like, a game, book, movie, whatever that you really wanted. Yeah. So that you don't have to buy yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, now we're trying to do, like, more fun things like taking a class together or, like, this coffee tasting thing that I'm trying to cook up. Like, yeah. Because, I don't know, I guess we can afford these things now or, like, and also, old you know, I've got a things. lot of the uh, material goods that I think I need. Yeah, like, you don't need another moment. electronic forever. Yeah. So, kind of just making gifts more out of experiences. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it gets tough after a while. Yeah. Like, I hope we get to the point where you just get me pens. Mm, You're like, I know you love those Sharpie pens that don't bleed. (laughs) And I do. (laughs) I'm getting a journal because, all right, so my therapist is going on a leave of absence. Please pray for me. Oh, my God. Literally, I'm pretending that it's not bothering me, but, uh, you know, we'll see. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing, my homework, basically, while she's gone, is I have to be journaling. I don't have to be, but, like, this is what we're doing. It's part of the plan. Yeah, yeah. And so I got my journal. I think it's actually going to be in the mailbox today. today. And I have my Sharpie pens. I'm not doing, like, bullet journaling or anything. That's more, like, scheduling. This is literally just, like, straight-up journaling. Stream I have a planner. Of thought, stream of conscious, like... Yeah, this is, thing. like, stuff that, like, is on my mind. It's gonna help probably with, like, my nightmares. And, Hopefully, you know, have yeah. things to, like, bring in to talk to her, like, when she's, you know, away. So that, like, I don't forget things that I need to bring up or whatever. Yeah, I'm but, sure you'd probably, like, have so many things that just happen over the next couple of weeks. That, like, once you got back, you're just, like, kind of blank. You're, I like, told what? her, I was like, I feel like I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be like... I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> like, it's been, and even though, like, I'm probably going to have, like, highs and lows, you know? Because that's me. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Uh, if you could lick anything in the world, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> that's a fucking question. That oh. I don't know the answer to. Lick anything in the world. But something that's, like, I don't know, fuzzy. Like, Ew, what? I don't know. Just Why? to see, like, what it feels like, you know? <laughs> I hate him so much. <laughs> I was going to say, like, the best lemon popsicle you can find me. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I guess that makes fucking sense. Like, yeah. Shit. <laughs> or, like, the weird. best coffee ice cream that exists. Ooh. That. He's like, I want to lick something fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he okay? <laughs> I need a Fuck new off. co-host. <laughs> you got to go. I hate this. I'm going to stick by my answer of something fuzzy. I'm just like, picturing you know? him licking, like, I don't know, like a fuzzy peach. Like, they found him, like, the fuzziest peach. And he's like, wow. Don't That's great me. texture. 
<laughs> I hate this. I'm gonna lick a pumpkin pasty, you know? Oh, uh, I wonder if those are savory or sweet. Yeah, that's a lot of questions. There's probably like a Harry Potter cookbook out there. Oh, definitely. Okay. Hi, Chris and Rachel. I love the podcast and thank you for creating such a great show. Well, thank you. Um, out of curiosity, what are some things that you guys are willing to invest more money in? I try to live quite frugally, Chris. I mean, good <laughs> for little, <laughs> um, good for the planet and also my wallet, but I also feel like I also feel okay spending a little bit more on things I really value, like skincare and good quality produce and savings for travel. Yeah. All right. So, I what do we spend more of our money on? Well, I... electronics. Because they're pricier anyway. Yeah, so you don't really have a fucking choice. Yeah. Like, so, um, skincare, fucking absolutely. I want to be spending, like, buying higher quality clothing. And more sustainable clothing. Yeah, sustainable, higher quality, just because environmental stuff, also, it'll last longer. Things like that. Shoes is something also, because, like... Those, You're wearing them every day. Yeah, those things that are, like, you use them every day. Like your, your jacket that's your gonna bed. be... Like, I have one winter coat, and I spent, I don't know, like, probably a little bit less than 100 bucks on it, and it's amazing, like... Our pillows. That was something. Yes. They were 50 bucks a piece, but, like, goddamn, they're the greatest thing ever. Like, they are the best they're pillows. They're fantastic. You put them in the dryer, they're just back to normal again. Oh, man, it's so good. We just did that the other day. It's great. Um, But also I, cat food, because I know that our food that we get for them is probably more expensive than, like, more generic stuff, but it's literally two ingredients. And, and it's not It saves Squeezy's stuff. life, so, yeah. like, we're good. Yeah, basically just kind of, like, Things that we're using daily, like... Glasses. Glasses and food and clothing and, I mean, I play video games every day, so, you know, electronics and yeah. phones and stuff, like, but uh, that's basically the things that I would I know, like, I don't have high. an expensive purse because I don't always like to have... I'm not a big purse person anyway, like, I don't want to have a big bag with me, so yeah. I just spend, like, less than 50 bucks on a bag, mm-hmm. like... I maybe one day I'll have like a really nice bag. I've had nice bags before, but I just they they're always too nice, and then I'm like don't feel safe wearing them. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? I get so you. I'm like they're for special like occasions, <laughs> and then they're just like sitting around, and they're obviously usually not like vegan, and so I just like don't you partake, mean, yeah. and I'd rather spend that money on like furniture. Also furniture, which yeah. like some of our stuff is cheap, but like right now we're like in the process of upgrading everything slowly so that everything's yeah. a little bit nicer. Like and- the newer furniture pieces that we get, I want to make sure that they are like built higher- to last, bitch. Yeah, built to last because you know some of the things we've fu- fucking gotten from Wayfair like over the past couple of years has been kind of trash i know, you know? like they're they have some good things but then some things that they have wayfair's really got a lot of like trash stuff except yeah, our you bed be has been it's been here like, the bed is probably like the best piece of furniture we got from that website yeah. but i plan on upgrading it whenever we get a one bedroom because i'm not going to need the I storage get a, bed anymore yeah and also like i want to get a bigger bed in general i want a queen yeah these chunks take up too much space God damn. can you imagine if we had dogs oh my like, god like i don't know what we where would we sleep yeah They're, honestly, oh my they'd god have a bed update though squeezy's finally using his cat bed that we bought him so finally you fucking jerk he like. used it for the second time today and i, was, <laughs> I cried for an hour just kidding. But yeah, oh, like well. we're gonna get a fucking bookcase from IKEA. I mean, yeah, gonna, you don't have to spend a lot of money on a. Fucking yeah, no, bookcase. like it's literally just shelves. Like that's not something that I'm gonna be worried about spending too much money on. Yeah. Um, have you ever dealt with panic attacks? <laughs> Who is I that? I think no, you might kidding. have had some experience with those. I'm not sure. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, if if yes, how do you deal? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like the last, it's been really weird because. Usually I can identify the source of what is, like, triggering a panic attack within me. Usually I know what's happening. These last, like, three nights, for me, like, the lead up to a panic attack is always the worst part. When you're, like, laying in bed, and, I mean, this seems to happen to me at night most often, but it feels like I have, like, someone sitting on my chest, and that I can't get, like, a full breath, and... Then you're focused on your breathing, which like accelerates your heart rate and yeah, everything because yeah, then you're yeah. like, oh my god, am I is I don't know, my head just goes a million places. You just like get into the cycle of like, and that's what then things. I'll get the yeah. panic attack. And like the last like few nights that's been happening to me, and I've been having like some breathing problems, in, like with anxiety, and I don't know why. Like at this point. I'm really not sure what's going on. I think it's just, like, a stress, and it's just building up, I guess. I don't know. So what I like to do in those situations 
is if I have Chris with me, I always like to have you read something to me or put on a podcast, usually having you read because I'll be paying more attention, I feel. Yeah. Um, that always calms me down, especially if it's something that's really interesting because then my mind can get off my breathing. Also, doing deep breaths, like breathes, <laughs> breaths. breaths. <laughs> that's really, really important too. So like if you... Are you at the point where you feel safe enough to focus on your breathing and you want to get your control back? Like, obviously, taking in deep breaths and then breathing out longer. I think it's, like, five and seven. Yeah. But there's, like, apps that you can even breathe with as well. I've seen that one goddamn GIF that's, like, a... Yeah, it's, like, that box, like, opening. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do that, but I usually like to focus on something else so I can get my mind off my breathing if I'm, like, having trouble breathing, if that makes sense. I get you. And I yoga, I mean, it's not, like, always practical. Like, I'm not in the middle of a panic attack being like, oh, let me just do a fucking child's pose. Like, it doesn't happen. I'm usually throwing up. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> if you can, like, if you're if you're feeling, like, more panicked and you're not, like, quite at that level yet, you can do yoga to calm down. It does help if I'm, like, at the beginning stages. But really, like, all you have to do is, like, ride it out. But what I would do is if you don't have somebody with you, put on TV, put on, like, a song, anything that you can, like, just pay attention to the words to. And that helps me the most, honestly. Mm -hmm. Or getting in the shower. That also helps. (laughs) That's some solid advice. I I don't really have as much advice. I don't really have experience. But I I wish you the best. It's not fun. Yeah, I can't say that. It <laughs> and then be. don't feel bad if you're like really exhausted afterwards. Like just sleep it off because yeah. you should. You know, you go through a lot when you do that because it's the adrenaline. What element on the periodic table of elements would you guys and the chunks be? Oh man, that's. Uh, I'm gonna. Probably... I'm gonna look it up first of yeah. all because let's be honest. Like, wasn't there a point in your life in your school times that you had to have it memorized in some way? Yeah, kind of. I mean, like, it took atmospheric chemistry, so, I mean, that's Just regular something... chemistry for me, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I had that, too, but, like, yeah. yeah. I definitely had to know these fucking things. My first thought was squeezy is sodium. Ooh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that... And he's also salty. Yeah. I, I, I get you. <laughs> I'm probably like RB, that. rubidium. Yeah, totally. Rubidium. I'm, I was going to say I'm hydrogen because that's the most basic one. It's literally just one electron and one proton, you know? <laughs> oh, damn. I was going to say you... Uh, never mind. Is he... Never mind. <laughs> Don't even ask. Okay. And then uh, Chunka. Chunka is... Ooh. I would have to say not chromium. I'm looking for like a C here. Oxygen because she's just a breath of fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess, I guess Lyle will just be oxygen. The old O2. Just kidding. Lyle, you are. You're just white. A cloud. Yeah, like a nice cloud, even though that's water vapor. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> well, you know what? I just need to educate. Yeah, so she's water. So this isn't even a question. It's from our murky friend, Ian Murphy. Oh, my God. And it's Ian. just a gif of a seagull regurgitating a hot dog. Like, full. That's like, and she's still whole. My vibe. And just says thoughts. And a lot of people were upset. You know, we got Claire here. was like, Ian, what the fuck? Um, my thoughts exactly. Um, what I would say is this is me when I brush my teeth and I hit my little thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, me when... Also, me thinking about deer jerky or whatever the fuck. Wow. Well, yeah, as soon as you said tacky, up. I'm gone. If <laughs> anybody never has a coming description back. for what jerky is, like, please. That's also squeezy when he eats anything off the floor. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a question from her email that is, Hello, beautiful people slash felines. I'm in college and have a little extra money set aside, so I'm considering studying abroad. I have two options. I can either do a 17-week program in the fall in London or I can do a 10-week program that starts mid-March and ends mid-June. I'd be five weeks in Paris and five weeks in London. The main um. difference in the two are the length and the price of them. They'd save $7,000 on the shorter one, but it's 10 weeks instead of 17. Right. Uh, so basically, like which one to do the you know best experience? And I would say... I mean, it depends on, like, how much money you want to spend on it. Because, like, it is also cool that the other one is two places. Yeah, I was going to say, I know, like, I'm not being the person trying to be like, oh, save money. Because that's me as that's a person. That's probably what I would choose, just because of the money. But, like... But I think it would be cool. I think 17 weeks in London, that would be cool. But also, like, to 
just get more experience. Like, if I had the option, I would have liked to have spent, like, five weeks. is still a decent amount of time in, like, two different places. I think yeah. that, that would be cool because I don't know when the fuck I'm going to get there now. So. But language barrier you also have to consider as well. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm if hoping... you're feeling like 17 weeks in one place would be better because you get the most comfortable in that place. Yeah. Or, like, doing the thing with, like, five weeks in France, especially if you're not, like, you know, I'm assuming fluent you're or... English speaking, but I don't know if you have French yeah. experience. So I guess, I mean, fuck, I guess it comes down to, if we're talking in House Hunters terms, location, price point, <laughs> you, know? Key, you know? And, yeah, and timing. <laughs> but, I mean... Fucking Christ. I don't know. Don't do this to me. I can't make this decision, but either way, you're going to have a fun time. Yeah, it sounds That's going to be lit. I would recommend doing that as a whole. Oh, because, I wish I had been able to do study abroad. Yeah, me too, because honestly, just looking at, like, the amount of money that I have to pay back to for schooling, why not, I should have just thrown on ex, some extra money on there even though I don't think it costs that much extra. And I would have done that. For I would have experience. rather given up eating and just gotten rid of the meal plan <laughs> and just went to France. Oh like God, it's that fine. Meal plan was so expensive. I know. And it's Fuck. for lackluster food. Yeah. That, I can't like believe. Jeff fucked up my face. Yeah. Jeff fucked it up. Jeff fucked up. Your <laughs> what, face. Who like, is who, Jeff? Who is Jeff? <laughs> we all know a Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I just adopted a kitten. It's been a long time since I've been in the cat game. What advice do you have for newish cat owners, especially kittens? Ooh, you gotta have lots of fun toys because they're gonna yes. be playful. And you're gonna, like, essentially baby-proof your house because they'll probably get into a lot of things. So. Yeah, Lila's still doing that. Each week she discovers something new to fuck with. Yeah. So, love you, Lila. That's just gonna keep going. Yeah. <laughs> And, I mean, if you're, like, concerned about, like, taking in a new cat and, um, you know, having, like, a big place, I would definitely recommend, like, sticking to, like, a few smaller rooms at first before you let them, like, totally have full reign. Just so you don't lose them, especially a kitten. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Not that you're going to lose your cat. (laughs) You're probably going to be, like, like, so obsessed with them. You know, because they're going to, like, find a weird spot and you're like, where are they? (laughs) God damn, Lila really knows how to get herself. I mean, Squeezy will literally get locked in a closet from time to time and sit there silently, not saying anything. Yeah, like, he's just like, I'll be here. (laughs) I can't believe you locked me in the bathroom by accident. Squeezy, you need to speak up. You scream at other times. Like, you guys have heard it on the show. Like, But he'll just fucking sit there quietly, not doing anything. really just unfazed by most things, except for the vacuum in the hallway. He's probably taking that moment to, like take a break and reflect. He's meditating. Yeah, he's meditating. It's fine. I love him. Um, starting to consider leaving my job of seven years. It's the only company I've worked for and leaving makes me quite anxious. So I guess advice on starting a new page and getting over the anxiety slash fear of failing. Um, I mean... If you're not, like, happy in, like, what you're doing and you're, like, trying to make this change because, like, you want to do something that you would enjoy more or find more happiness in or you just don't like the company that you're working for like i can understand that there's definitely going to be like that fear of like leaving something that was like somewhat stable or whatever yeah you have the security but like you don't enjoy it so i understand where you're coming from with that uh i would just say that when it comes to like the things that you're like the thing that you're going to be doing for your life like what you're doing as your job like you want to not be stuck in something that if you have the like privilege to be able to make a change like this you want to change to something that's going to give you more happiness I mean like you have realized that you weren't getting as much happiness out of YouTube as you may have during the beginning yeah and so it's kind of I mean there's not going to be there's always going to be that anxiety and like that fear that like are you making the right decision but if it's something that like it's really just not making you happy being in that spot then I think it's definitely the right decision to at least be trying to make the steps to move away from that like a lot of people can um, carpenter compartmentalize their job and like other things that they're passionate about and for me like I I can't I really need the stuff that's earning me my living, my well-being, paying for my bills. I need it to be something that I can focus on and also enjoy doing. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like... And it doesn't have to be like the most fun, like exciting... My top passion in the world. Yeah, like, like, okay, arguably my top passion in the world is like food and I'm not doing anything with food. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like you have to at least 
not be bored or upset by what you do. Yeah. And so if you can have the ability to make that change, then I would definitely do it. But you obviously are going to play it safe and like not just like fucking yeah. leave without having another backup or whatever. But like, I mean, it's important because like I can't imagine doing something that like doesn't give me any excitement at all or, or if the any... company like upsets you and you don't like working for the company i like... know but then like sometimes you're in that position like i mean that's happened to like everyone so yeah. you kind of have to work through those moments as well and like you don't every job you take doesn't have to be like the most amazing like gets you wet to work like kind of <laughs> bullshit like that's not gonna be possible but like ultimately you're working towards that i would assume just because like i don't know there's things that i've done that are boring that i probably wouldn't be able to do long term but like have lasted yeah. me in those moments like but. when i was working at the nordstrom call center you think i wanted to be like in that position and no. it's not something i was like oh yeah I'm really fucking crazy about this but i did it for a time and it eventually led me to microsoft so yeah. i mean that was all in the plan like but. i've been doing some transcribing work and like it's obviously it's it's exhausting work because you can't like focus on anything else like you have to be just listening to the words replaying them over and over and over again and i did it because i wanted to improve my vocabulary i wanted to improve my focus and i wanted to really hone in more on my typing skills which are already fucking great (laughs) and like it has helped improve so many of those skills is it the most interesting work in the world absolutely not but like you know it's just something that i've been doing that like at least there's some benefit from it other than the money. Like yeah. I am improving skills that I like to hone in on as well. So yeah, even you know. my job that I started off with at Amazon, like I was there and I wasn't going to like fucking do anything to jeopardize it, but I was slowly within the company making changes that I could to move myself to a position that I would enjoy more. Yeah. And that's where I'm at right now. I like what I'm doing right now. It's not like my number one top passion in the world, but it's, you find it interesting. Yeah, I find it interesting, and it's something that I'm okay with going to work with every day and yeah. doing. So I hope that helps. It's always scary when it's like your entire life's like money. And I also don't blame you for like taking a while to make a decision too, yeah. because like it's jobs and all of it us. It took you a long ass time to make a decision about like what you were gonna do. Yeah, and like you know we I even had like the ability and the privilege to change what I was doing. And I know yeah. a lot of people are, like, more stuck than I was in that moment, you know, so... Yeah, yeah, that's why I said I understand it takes, like, a level of privilege to be able to, like, yeah. be in this moment to, like, decide this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, best of luck to you, though. I hope you find something that better uh, creams Suits. your corn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew you were going to go somewhere weird. I like to do these stupid food saying Fuzzy things. liquor. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, I guess that about wraps up this episode of Coffee with Rachel. Well, thanks for joining us and having a nice cup of black honey from Clinique Coffee. Yeah. You know? It's literally just, what is what is that makeup product? Like, what is it? It's like a lipstick. It's a lipstick? Okay, this lipstick tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in our next one. Bye. Bye. All right, binchos. So, because we're going to go grocery shopping after we record this, you guys are what we're getting at the grocery store. Oh, my God. <laughs> except minus the meats that are on this list. <laughs> yeah. We, so, food. But, you know, we're trying to be topical. Trying to tie it in. <laughs> All right. So, we're starting it off with Nicole Dowling, who is cold cuts on a hoagie. Kimberly Proza is kimchi. Kate Convery is Concord grapes. Classic. Kayla Harding is a hard candy apple. Sarah Booth is a bamboo shoot. Emma Corbeal is an acorn squash. Heather Ann is cantaloupe. <laughs> Taylor Collins is collard greens. Sloan Fuller is slow-cooked pork butt. Whoa, who's shocked? Megan Rackley is graham crackers. I thought that said grandma's crackers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Alicia McKee is a key lime pie. Bailey Lynn is a leek. Sloan Nolan is nori. Alicia Schreiner is a shrimp cocktail. Jackie Goldfarb is a golden potato. Sammy Jessam is a cheese sampler. Angelica Feliz is falafel. Jackie Burkhart is an artichoke heart. Madison Greer is a nice green apple. Avery Labelson is bell peppers. Daisy Blossom Dotty is Dippin' Dots. <laughs> you can get those at the grocery store. Can you? No. no. <laughs> Corey Springfield is a spring mix. S- M- Maddie Pullman is polenta. <laughs> Margarita is a maraschino cherry. Nicole Allen is dark chocolate. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Ilka is a milk chocolate bar. Rebecca O'Donnell is udon noodles. Allison Francois is a sun-dried tomato. Sylvia Ehrlichman-Gross is caviar. 
Anna Hernandez is Sherbert. Ian Murphy is cold coffee and I'm, fucked up. I made sure to put the cold in there because fuck you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Chabon is Bruschetta. Vlyn and Drew are Linguini. <laughs> Mackenzie Knight is Ezekiel Bread. Annie Wynn is Granny Smith Apples. Megan Grilly is Grits. Chloe Ireland is Fire Roasted Pizza. What? Kat Vallejos is Catfish. Emily Lewis is Lumen Bars. <laughs> Beth Bonseca is Fondue. Jax is a nice flaxseed. Ash Roselle is an edible rose. Megan Wilson is wild rice. <laughs> also, me describing myself. <laughs> <laughs> Becca Jansen is an assortment of jams. Cassandra Lee is dragon fruit. Emma Nigren is Gren bean casserole. <laughs> Amazing. A new twist on an old classic. <laughs> Amanda Marie is marmalade. <laughs> Don't even make me start. <laughs> Jack Julio is a turkey. Turnkey. <laughs> Danielle Maness is mayonnaise, bitch. Michelle North is a great northern bean. <laughs> My fave. Bridget Dubin is a brisket. Rip. Caitlin Whalen is lentils. Cassandra Buckout is buckwheat. Cody Robinson is Red Robin's Fries. Oh, uh, that Robin. That should be on our fucking list. Like, I want them. Jenna Gordonier is Gorgonzola. Jennifer Cornwell is a corn chowder. My Elizabeth is a Linzer tart. Courtney Hall is a holibut. Oh my god, that's like a holiday fish. <laughs> Sarah is a radicchio. <laughs> Jada Goshi is a mango. Mangoing. Kelly Adams is pumpernickel. Ishbel Mendez is a fish taco. Courtney White is a white onion. <laughs> Megan McNally is nutmeg. Camellia Malky is a malted milk ball, bitch. Whopper. S- Stephanie Oliver is a green olive. Melanie Weldon is a well done steak. Dana Daly is a raspberry Danish. Chloe Archer is a cherry. Skylar Medley is barley. Angela Sue is chicken noodle soup, which we're totally making later, later. but like vegan. Hillary Gay is chili. Jennifer Havgood is good in plenties. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Cadwalder is a walnut. Marlene Naj is marinated pork chops. <laughs> Christina Contreras is bacon. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> Madison Wolf is venison. <laughs> Elizabeth Holbrook is broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. Fiona is a banana. Juanita Cara is a caramel sundae. Aaron Bray is raisin bran. Bridget Carey Davis is a carrot. Talia Miller is millet. Catherine Simpson is a persimmon. I can't get them in a fucking Animal Crossing. <laughs> Taco Roach is pot roast. Allie McGregor is a marshmallow. Sabrina Hughes is wasabi. Megan Preyas is oregano. Kendall Berg is iceberg lettuce. Claire Wood is an eclair. Anthony Hood is ants on log. And Rachel Evans is an everlasting gobstopper. We really fucking reached on these ones, guys. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the beach boppos, I would have to say, are the people that are getting in my fucking way in the can aisle. I feel like the can aisle is always the most tense for me. Really upsetting. We got Rebecca Edmondson. Allie Malone. Joanna Jensen. Ashley Riefenberger. Mallory. Sonia Vazbrun. Kathleen Wynn. Rose Barnett. So thanks, guys, for supporting the show. Yes, thank you. We hope you enjoyed your trip to the grocery store with us. Yes, now I'm hungry. Yeah, honestly, and we made our list. We're checking it twice. All right, well, uh, we will see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast.